had a commenter ask me, what do I have on the dash and the windshield of this 2018 Tiffin Allegro bus? The first one's really easy. That's just my Kenwood uh, dash cam recording my entire travels. To help mitigate liability for insurance purposes. But the other thing is pretty interesting. This is the Mobile Eye. It's installed by Tiffin, the coach manufacturer, and you can find it on a lot of high-end luxury motorhomes. As you can see, it mounts to the windshield because it needs to look through it because there's a forward-facing camera on it. To give this luxury Class A diesel motorhome lane departure warning, front collision warning, and adaptive cruise control. And now that the sun is above me, I have enough shade on the dash to show it in action. So I'll get you guys set up on my phone mount right here so you can look at the display right there. Your cradle. We'll see if we can't maybe make it make some sense. First thing to be aware of, there's a power button right there. Volume right here, volume up over there. All right. So as I'm driving, that forward facing camera will be looking for lane markings, vehicles, and even pedestrians. But it'll also scan the uh, signs and if it sees a speed limit sign, it'll actually post what the uh, current speed limit is. So as we're driving now, you can see the lane markers up coming up. And we're coming up to a speed limit sign. See if it scans that. There we go, it says 75 and it is 75 on I-70. So now you can see the lane markers. So if I were to go over to the right too far and drift, it'll give me an awful warning that I'm drifting to the right. It'll do the same thing to the left. And you'll notice now that, that there's a vehicle that pulled in front of me and it shows how far ahead that vehicle is in front of me. So using that vehicle information, uh, that's where the adaptive cruise control comes in. It's not really that adaptive, okay? So if I set my cruise control, like I just did, it doesn't really know what speed I'm going, but if I start getting too close to another vehicle, or if another vehicle cuts me off or gets in front of me, if my travel distance gets too close, it will disable the cruise control. an audible alarm too see look at that we're slowing down I mean it's not really fair to call it adaptive because it just kind of turns the cruise control off but it still does prevent a front-end collision too but if you were to get annoyed uh, listening to the uh, lane departure you can go ahead and turn the uh, sound off too you find yourself uh, meandering along these lines a little bit more than uh, you would in a car since these RVs are so wide but that was the mobile eye, and I thought you guys might like to know how it worked. Lane departure warning, front end collision warning, adaptive cruise control, and even let you know what the speed is posted.